Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, thanks so much for listening today. Uh, you probably know this if you listen to podcasts, but your willingness to rate and review what you've just heard is a huge blessing to our ministry. Uh, really, without that, it's almost impossible for people to find us and be blessed by us. So would you take just a second to rate and review this podcast? Thank you so much. This week, we're talking about marriage and especially the relationships that we have inside of a marriage. And so what is the relationship between husband and wife that God wants for the marriage? In other words, what are the callings that God gives to husbands and wives? Well, before we get into that, we need to go all the way back to creation to be reminded of something. So God created Adam and Eve with his own hands as works of art. And the Bible says that God saw what he made and his declaration was, it was very good. Now, up until this point, up until they came along, everything was good in that there was nothing wrong with it, but it wasn't complete either. You see, God didn't make paradise for its own sake. He made it for people, and without them, it was just an empty shell. So God makes everything just right, and he saves the very best for last, and he gives it to them and says, all this is for you. Creation was perfect, and people were the very best part of it. When we're talking about the relationships of husband and wife inside of a a marriage, it's important to remember that our status in God's eyes as men and women, as husbands and wives, is perfectly equal. Um, Both the, the man and the woman are together the crown of God's creation. Husbands and wives are perfectly equal before God. And even though husbands and wives' statuses are perfectly equal before God, that doesn't mean that God gave them the same calling or the same function. Uh, In other words, God did not make husbands and wives clones of each other. He made them to be complementary so that they actually strengthen the marriage. Uh, Maybe one way to look at it is like this. Who's more important, the the policeman or the fireman? Well, unless you're a policeman or a fireman, you'd say neither. Neither's more important. But they don't do the same thing. They don't have the same function. They complement one another in order to serve you better. Uh, The same is true in a marriage. God wants the the husband to be the head and he wants the wife to be the helper. One of the sections of scripture that that talks about that quite a bit is Ephesians 5. And I'd like to take a few minutes and uh, a few moments and and talk about what God says to husbands and, and how they should carry out their calling in the relationship. And then tomorrow we'll talk about the wife's calling. So Ephesians 5 says this, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. So the main directive that God gives to husbands is to love their wives. And and when we're talking about love, we're talking about agape love, that special selfless love. And so the husband being the head, it does not mean that he's the general in the army barking out orders. No, instead, uh, this is the husband bending over backwards to do what's best for his wife. And his model is Jesus himself. And what did Jesus do? Jesus loved the church so much that he gave himself up for her. That means that the husband is going to sacrifice himself, even his own preferences, in order to serve his wife. The question that we as husbands need to constantly ask ourselves is, am I loving her like Jesus does? Why do you think that God gives men the directive or husbands the directive to love their wives. He doesn't give that directive to wives, though they should love their husbands. Why do you think he specifically says, husbands, love your wives? Well, there are many reasons, but I think one of the main reasons is that that's what the wife needs from her husband. I would imagine that one of the greatest fears of women is to be married to a pig. And so God says, husbands, love, just as I loved you. A husband who is bending over backwards to do what's best for his wife makes it a whole lot easier for her to carry out her God-given calling of being that helper. We'll talk more on that tomorrow. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, you love the church by dying on the cross to save us. Motivate husbands to love their wives just as you loved us and help them to serve their wives. In your name we pray. Amen.